Are you ready for some football? Are you ready for some heartburn? They go hand in hand. That's why we're at the Imagination Station with the chief scientist, Carl Nelson, and some lovely volunteers, Patrice, Emily, Nate. Do you know what you're in for? Think so. I uh, yeah, <laughs> not really. I don't either. Carl, what's going on? Okay, so there's going to be lots of hot dips and chips and salsa and guac and stuff this weekend. And hot peppers are going to be one of the components. Right? You got your jalapenos, okay. right? You got your serranos and your habaneros. Now we scale these on what's called the Scoville scale. So your jalapeno is about 2,500 Scoville, so kind of mild. The serranos are up around 11,000 oh, wow. on the scale. That's a big jump. And the um, jalapeno, the habaneros, are around 100 to 200,000. Oh, get out. Okay, so these these are fairly hot. And these are the guys we're going to work with today. No. What? So, <laughs> yeah. So what we're going to try to do, in fact, what I'm not going to do, you guys are going to do it. Right. Um, <laughs> you are going to see if there is a remedy to cool that heat that is generated in your mouth so when you eat a hot pepper. We're the guinea pigs. You have a tasting panel. Ah, okay. okay and there's a <laughs> totally different description. Now, each of you have a different randomly chosen remedy Okay, uh, at the end we got some sugar solution, we got some rice and bread, peanut butter, cottage cheese, and you guys are going to, um, not quite yet, we're going to time this, right? You got a habanero slice in your cups in front of you. You're going to pick that up, don't do it yet. Okay. You're going to pick it up, you're going to chew it for 10 seconds, I'm going to time you. Then we're going to wait for 20 to 30 seconds for the heat to build up to the maximum pain threshold. No. <laughs> okay. And then, then you are free to choose from your remedy in front of you, and then we're going to talk about if that helped cool the heat. <laughs> okay. This isn't really a science experiment. This is Absolutely. just you pulling a prank. <laughs> it's science because you agreed to do it with oh, us. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Um, I want everybody to pick up their slice. Oh, I'm going to get my timer started. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Yes. All right. Go ahead and pop it in your mouth and you're going to chew it actively for like 10 seconds. We want to break down oh, and man. release that capsaicin so it can bind to some of those sensors mm -hmm. in your mouth and on your tongue. Mm. Are you feeling the heat? Mm. Yeah. So it's a real pepper, okay. All right, now we're in that building the pain threshold Ooh. phase here. We're gonna wait about 20 seconds, all right? Oh, What's happening man. is that capsaicin molecule, like I say, is attaching to those sensors, <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay, you got five more just, seconds, five more seconds, five more seconds. All right, get ready with your remedies. All right, dig in. Dig oh, in, get, get that stuff in your mouth, and see what happens. Mm. Mm. Yeah, now, when you get in there, oh. smush it around. Okay. Smush it around. Don't, don't just sample. <laughs> Indulge in the remedy, OK? Now, this seems to be working. Is that working for you? Yeah. OK, so you've actually got the double whammy. You've got a dairy product that has not only fat, but casein, a protein that actually actively binds to the capsaicin molecule and washes it out of your mouth. So you're, you're probably doing pretty good. That's all right, yeah. Nate, you only have a sugar solution. now. The drawback with yours is that water, capsaicin is not soluble in water. So when you drink that water, you're just swishing the capsaicin around your mouth, allowing it to bind to more sites, increasing the pain. But it looks like you're doing okay. It's all right. <laughs> so when I drink, it cools it down. Afterwards, it's a rebound. Right back. Yep. All right, so Emily, you've got bread. bread. <laughs> Try the rice. Try the rice. Ooh, okay. okay. The idea here of the suggestion is that the rice and the bread are like abrasives. They're just scrubbing that stuff and absorbing some of the capsaicin, getting it out of your mouth. So smoosh it around, keep it moving around. Is it effective at all? The rice is a lot better than the bread. The bread is not doing anything for you. I need okay. more of this too. Patrice, you look like you're fine. Yeah. I'm okay, my ears are on fire. Oh. Yeah. Like, you've got the peanut butter. The peanut butter has fat, and capsaicin is soluble in fat. So if you get that on your tongue and in your mouth, smoosh it around, it should absorb, it's really gross thinking about it, but it should absorb that capsaicin and get it away from those pain sensors inside your mouth. Tony, oh, you look like you're just fine. Yeah, yeah I'm, just, I'm just plotting my revenge, Carl. Hey, if you want to come on down here to the Imagination Station, you can try this at home, or you can dare Carl to eat a pepper. And we are at One Discovery Way. Of course, the home. times are on your screen. And if you live in Lucas County and you bring a kid down with you who also lives in Lucas County, that kid gets in free with a paid adult admission on Saturdays only. Hey, we're going to toast to you here, I think. Whole milk. Whole milk. A lot of fat. Yeah. And it has that casein protein in it. So in case you, <laughs> if you inadvertently ingest yeah. or overindulge, milk. Whole milk. And cottage cheese. Absolutely. All right. Cheers to you. Cheers. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. That's how you imagine it. Oh, boy. Whew. Tony's all right. He's still with us today. So.